everyone, I am Yasuko and it's time for Massage Monday. Well, it's been about a month or four weeks to be exact since I made this Ninon's Beauty Cream. So this week I'm going to give you an update on the experiment on this beauty cream and the massage. As I promised, I put this cream on every single day before I went to bed. And I think I used about one third of the whole batch. In the beginning I slathered this, but now I only apply a thin layer. I only need about this much to cover my face, neck and decollete, so I still have a lot left. I keep this in the fridge and I think it's still good, but it's stinky to begin with, so it's hard to tell when or if it's gone bad. So do I see any difference on my face? Frankly, I don't know. But I do feel my face is more moisturized, especially when I wake up in the morning. There are some comments about how I'm glowing. Well, thank you. I will take it. I haven't changed the way I put on the same makeup or the lighting system, so I will gladly take your word for it. Oh, and as someone commented, the world's oldest supermodel, Carmen Del Orefis, I hope I said it right, she uses lard as a moisturizer on her face, just as a reference. I can't really tell if onion's brightening effect is taking place on my face, maybe because I see it every day. So I guess you'll be the judge. But on my hands, I can see a difference. I put the cream only on left hand every day before I went to bed, and it feels and looks smoother than the right hand. I wish my camera could take microscopic pictures, but the texture is different for sure, and it's slightly lighter than the right hand. My friends can attest it too. But you see, the angle and the lighting makes a big difference, so this is not a good representation. I drive a lot and we have the steering wheel on the left side, so if anything, left hand tends to get more sun exposure, so it's kind of surprising. In the beginning, I just put the cream on and went to bed, but my left hand didn't sit still. So the stinky cream was rubbing off on the bed, so I bought this night glove and now I put the cream on and put the glove on and this is how I sleep. It helps to keep the bed clean and it also locks in the moisture so it feels really nice in the morning if it stays on. I would say one out of five times it comes off for some reason and I have to look for this in the morning. Now that I like what I'm seeing on the left hand, I'm going to start using on my right hand too. And I have gloves for both hands so I might as well use it. I'm kind of getting used to the smell but it's still not a nice smell. I used this witch hazel toner to wipe off in the morning, but I think I've developed a smell of association. Meaning, even if I just use this witch hazel toner, I start to smell the lard and onion automatically, which is not a nice thing because I love this product. So now I use this microfiber cloth to remove the beauty cream in the morning. I use this to remove the makeup, and I prefer cotton, but this microfiber cloth is amazing at removing things. So I soak this in hot water and do a hot compress, which itself feels nice as I remove the beauty cream. And I do this several times at the sink or in the shower. I still have a quite a bit left on this box of lard with BHA, which now I know is a harmful chemical. So I've been thinking how I should use the rest of this box because I do not want to waste animal product. And I learned you can make a soap out of lard, so I think I'll be making a lard soap with the rest of this box. That way I can still make use of the rest of this animal product and I don't have to saturate my skin with harmful chemical for a long period of time. Another effect of using lard on my face. I don't cook with lard obviously and that's why I didn't even know where to find it. But now that I know the smell and taste of lard, I can tell which restaurants use lard in their dishes. I know there are people who cannot use lard for their religious reasons or they're vegan or they just cannot get it in their area or simply they don't like to. I looked at the oil compositions but I just don't know how to look for the vegan alternative for lard from the oil composition standpoint. If you know of a tool or a resource that I can compare the oil composition side by side or a good tool to find a vegan alternative, please let me know. There were some suggestions for the alternatives such as olive oil, coconut oil, and ghee, although ghee is not vegan. So just substitute with the plant oils that work for you. Now for the massage. 
I've been doing this thyroid or neck massage and the face massage every day, once a day. Actually, I think I missed one day in the past month. I don't have thyroid issues, but if you do have thyroid issues, please check with your doctor first, just to be sure, because I don't know if this neck massage will affect individual cases. As for the result, I don't know if there's any change for me. Someone mentioned she was losing weight and that's great, congratulations. But my weight is pretty much the same, although I strive to keep it within certain range most of the time anyway. I realized I was already touching my thyroid every day because whenever I put the skincare product on my face, I also put it on my neck and decollete. I'm just touching more with Ninon's massage. And from the other anti-aging facelift video, I'm used to caressing downward from neck to the collarbone. So whenever I do the Ninon's massage upward, I finish with downward stroke for lymph drainage. I know this massage is such an arm burner, but someone commented a workaround. So instead of moving your arms, start moving your head. <laughs> so start head banging if your arms are hurting. I thought that was a brilliant idea. So that's the update on Ninon's beauty cream and neck massage experiment after doing it for one month. Again, I see this as a long-term investment by doing a little bit every day. Stay tuned for the next update in 2059 if I'm still sticking around the earth, hopefully looking like this. Thanks for watching. I'll see you back next week. Make it a great week. Feel free to comment below and please don't forget to subscribe.